Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to The Pirate's Fate. We are on a new story path, Morgana. Spoilers, Morgana has been killed off. We are now the first mate, and we are in a new land. So what is this? How dare you speak so disrespectfully in such a holy place? Holy? That's a laugh. It's just empty old ruins. I'm going to prove it. Um, excuse me, we're looking for the temple of, is it Osteri? Osterly, yeah. This, is this the place? Is this the one we want? Yeah. It sure is. Osterly, the goddess of beauty, was worshipped here thousands of years ago. I'm Joanna, latter-day attendant of this shrine of miracles. Let me assure you, travellers, that there's no such thing as miracles. You're a sceptic then, I'll take it. Even better, I'm a professor. Angie's the name, and I'm going to debunk the rumours about this place once and for all. I haven't seen either of these two characters before. This is new. Okay, that's not possible. What are you babbling on about now? How could you ever debunk miracles? If you witness one, you're a believer. And if I don't? Well, you might have just come on a bad day, right? You can't prove there won't be a miracle tomorrow. Have you ever heard a more egregious example of fallacious reasoning? Okay, we'd love to stay and chat, but we've got some kind of business inside the temple. You mean, you want the tour? Sure, if you don't mind. Oh, Osterly will be most pleased. Of course, one of you is going to have to say their prayers outside. Um, the bear. You aren't letting the captain in? Why not? I'm quite perplexed as well. On what basis are you denying me access? This temple is all about prayers of beauty. It was believed that the ugly and the monstrous weren't fit to stand in her sight. Don't you see it as a contradiction there? No, no I don't. Well, your precious goddess forbids you to help the people who are most in need. I'm sure the goddess helps those who help themselves. And if that's the case, why have a temple at all? Look, if ugly people were allowed in, it wouldn't be exclusive anymore, would it? Everyone that's tried so hard to be pretty, well, they'd feel like they wasted their effort if just anybody was allowed inside. Sounds like a real charming place. How dare you, not my place to disagree. What about when you get old? <laughs> You're a lovely young woman, Duana. Thank you. Among the true believers, there is no higher praise. But that won't last forever, would it? How are you going to feel when you're excluded from the temple once the bloom is off your rose? I certainly won't be happy about it, but what can I do? Osterly would never accept an aged and ugly attendant. Okay, why not? It's pretty simple when you think about it. Beauty is the greatest of all blessings. That is why no one may hold on to it for long. Don't worry, Joanna. I'll respect the temple's rules and remain here. Mila, wine inside. You'll be in command. You're going to exclude anybody else, or are we going to go in now? When Osteri created beauty, she gave most of it to women, so I usually don't let men into the temple at all, my short friend. But you're kind of adorable, so I'll make an exception this time. Oh, I'm adorable. Nico, let's go. Right, I'm coming. If they're going in, I'm coming too. Fine. You won't find what you came here for anyhow. So we got this this kind of religion type of thing, but they only like pretty people. Sure. <laughs> Let's go inside and see what it's like. Everything is large. How many of these unusual statues are there going to be? Beauty was the highest virtue among these noble people. They believed by praying and giving offerings. They might be blessed with divine looks. I pray here every day hoping to be granted the goddess's favour. And yet every day she doesn't hear you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. So now that you're here, you really should pray to her. Only with her blessing can we look our best. You could all enjoy a good prayer or two, if you know what I mean. All of us? I happen to think I'm pretty blessed as it is, darling. Well, you are quite lovely, but your eyes do look a little bit tired. Hey, are there any magical coins in the temple? Coin? You mean on the necklace? Legend holds that a distant traveller, a zebra spellcaster of great renown and wonder, visited the temple and placed the necklace on the statue, saying it was only to be sought by those who are worthy. Okay, that sounds a little bit like someone we know too. The wizard? I always thought she was a lizard. We're going to need to inspect the necklace. Everything in this room is a sacred artifact. You'll do no such thing. Coin puts the temple at risk. Coin has spiritual value. Oh, arr, we're going to do the pirate thing. Um, the, it has spiritual value. 
Duana, you wanted to go inside the temple because of your religious beliefs. Well, we're on our own spiritual journey to collect the coins. We believe it will help heal the world. We won't listen to anyone that tries to stop us. You believe in magic too. The world is full of fools. I believe you. I bet the coins are magic. Then let us do what we came here to do. Okay, now let's focus on how we'll get it. I'll simply climb up and retrieve it, right? I've climbed since I could walk, you know. Of course you have. Oh, you doubt me. Unlike others here who shall remain nameless, I'm happy to prove my worth on the ship. I'll get it down, and without any risky climbing, okay? And how's that? I'll fold one of my scrolls and turn it into a paper airship and I'll throw it and knock it down. That sounds completely legit. Well, you had to have a reason for carrying those around all the time, I suppose. But really, Liko, let the adults in the room handle this one. Darius said I'm in charge, so it's my call. The person who retrieved the necklace is... Hmm, I don't know who to pick. I don't know why this is a difficult decision. Let's go with Liko this time. Nico, your plan seems safer. I don't want anybody to fall climbing that thing. Then I'll give it a shot, as it were. Oh, I missed. Let me try again. Missed. At that rate you're going, we're going to be here all day. Well, at least the amulet's safe. I'll go see if anybody else is coming to visit the temple. Hey, don't leave. I'm trying my best. I've got to be able to do it eventually. Boys and their toys. No wonder they don't normally let males into the temple. Yeah, what was that about anyway? I think it was because they said beauty is a gift for women. Well, isn't it now? Do you ever see a woman going crazy at the sight of a beautiful man? I mean, I've got a few friends who are for Joshi, so... Yeah, actually. Well, no, okay, fine. Of course not. We don't even call men who are attractive beautiful, we say handsome. Well, that woman at the door can be adorable. Oh yeah, all men aspire to be adorable, don't they? It's not like we lionise soldiers and heroes. But brawns and brains aren't exclusive, are they? Well, I know both of us try our best, Mila. She meant, could a man be both beautiful and a warrior? Oh yes. I'm sure every soldier worries about what his hair looks like going into battle. Who cares about his prowess? Lethality. It's survival instincts. Killing and fighting. Achieving, huh? Guess I'm not a real man in your eyes, am I? No, I didn't say that. Rico, why is this bothering you so much? Missed again. He keeps throwing these aeroplanes. I know you're probably right. I'm cute. I'm adorable. But I've never been a real man in the eyes of women, especially someone bigger or stronger than me. If you're right, Tam Tam, then even if I was a hero, I'd never be beautiful. Come now, darling. That's not what you really want though, is it? Sometimes I think I do want that. Looking at the statue, it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Nothing. Well, I can't speak for Mr. Adorable over here, but I've got a few questions of my own. Even if this statue was intended to be of a goddess, it was likely modelled after a real woman. Who was this woman? Why was she chosen? What was her life like after the statue was carved? I bet she was the envy of the world, lit up a room just by walking into it, always greeted with a smile. It would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean... no. Sounds like a fool's errand to me. I'd rather be respected than... Hey, I hit it. It's falling. I'll catch it. Okay, I see how this is going. Liko, he wants to be big and strong, and he's got these thoughts in his head while he's grabbing this medallion so what's gonna happen okay he's got it here he goes hey why are you looking at me like that what okay this is a big transformation a big transformation all right fine what what's happened to me Astonishing, you're... The coins. It must have been the coin. But I didn't... Become what you seek? That's what it says, right? You're going on and on about not being a real man. And wanting to be beautiful. This clearly isn't what I meant. 
change me back coin. Mila, tell the stupid thing to... Liko, we both know it doesn't work that way. First Darius, and now this? I've changed too, Tam Tam. Damn, how do they work? Nobody knows for sure. They do work in mysterious ways. Perhaps the, uh... We got to get out of here and explain what's happened. Maybe one of them can help? Why would they help you? What do you have to gain, Liko? If that's the name that you still want to be called, I mean... Yeah, that's still my name. I'm still the same person. Oh my god. Oh my goddess. Go ahead, get the jokes out of your system. This is no joking matter. For once, Angie, we agree. Clearly, the goddess wanted to help bring your spirit and body into alignment. What are you talking about? Are you saying my spirit wanted to be a girl? Of course, we just saw a miracle. The goddess knew you were meant to be a beautiful woman and corrected things. What else could it be? That can't be right. Is it so far off from what we guessed earlier? Yes, it is. Joanna, can't you fix this? Can you get me back to normal? How could I? Do you think I could answer prayers as well? Uh, never mind. Why would I ever want you to be a man again? Right now, you look fantastic. Just think about how your life will be now that you've been gifted such beauty. What an amazing blessing. A blessing? More like a curse. Oh, the skeptic believes in curses now. You don't understand. I didn't come here just to debunk any old rumour. I came here to make sure nobody ever promotes this terrible religion. Joanna thinks beauty is a gift from the gods, but in truth it's more of a curse. Beauty ensnares the senses and clouds the minds of men. It corrupts objectivity and nobility. It feeds lust. How can a woman cursed with beauty ever trust the opinions of others when that beauty has poisoned their minds? How miserable you must think bacons are. Bakers? Oh, worries me. I can never trust people's opinions of my pies. Hunger has poisoned the minds of my customers. I'm not sure I follow. Of course you don't, darling. Liko should be happy that she can bring so much joy to the world through beauty. Just think of how much spiritual karma she'll build up. Spiritual karma? You don't have any evidence for that, do you? Not about this. Beauty causes negative karma. All those terrible thoughts, those visions of sensuality that dance in the heads of others, they all cast black marks on the soul. You'll have to answer for them in the hereafter. What? That's not true. Of course it isn't true. That's just the, uh... Damn right it's not true, Angie. I like you better when you didn't believe in magical miracles. What kind of nonsense is this? Keep quiet with all that talk. You'll upset dear Liko. We don't have time for theological debates here. Our captain's waiting for us. Okay, so Liko had a big change. So, um... Mila, you got what we came for, I trust. Yeah, but, um... Excellent. So, where's Liko? There's been a development... A couple of them, more like it. Oh wow, subtle, subtle Tam Tam. Yo, Captain. Liko, you're, um... Yeah, the coins gave me a little bit of a surprise. Uh... Yeah, I wish I could have done something to help you. But as Darius and I found, these things are really hard to predict. Yeah, but at least you both kept your gender. One in like a little girl. I'm sure that strategy will pay off. Tam Tam is really ruthless about this whole situation. Shut up. That's it. Tell her. I don't see why you're complaining. I prayed for so long. And yet the one who receives the blessing of the goddess can't even appreciate it. Liko, don't listen to her. What happened to you is horrific and shameful. That, that's, what? None of these people have got a decent assessment on this situation. You must not rest until you put it right. Angie, shut up. Silence, both of you. Liko isn't some sideshow to be gawked at and judged. She's, I mean, he's... Uh, either way, Liko's a member of the crew, and all of the dread pirates will be treated with respect. We have what we came for, so let's not waste another moment here. We're returning to the ship. So, I had a choice. So, what would have happened if I sent Tam Tam to collect that medallion? It's kind of an interesting thought. Maybe I should go and check. No, no, we're going to push forward. Push on. Did you feel that? That was some lightning. Feel what? Very funny. School's coming. Time to rig the storm sails. Mila, take port. Tam Tam, starboard. I'll try to steer us through. Captain, what about me? What about you? You didn't give me anything to do? I suppose I didn't. Well, you can always duck below deck if the winds are bothering you. 
the wind isn't bothering me, you are. You're treating me differently. Just because I turned into a girl doesn't mean I'm suddenly some delicate doily who can't rig a sail. Liko's absolutely right. Thank you, Tam Tam. If anything, she's bigger than what she was. You were rubbish at rigging sails when you were a man, so clearly your gender bender has nothing to do with your current lack of skill. Tam Tam, you gotta chill out with how you're treating Liko. That's not exactly what I was trying to say. Well, if you want those sails to be done right, somebody had to say it. Fine, if you don't need my help, I'll just go below deck. Yeah, Liko's is a big change out of nowhere, so they got a lot of processing to do. But yeah, the storm's cleared up nicely. Yeah. Liko still hasn't shown up. Why don't you go talk to him? I mean, I mean her. I know some comforting would be appreciated. Why me? When did I get so good at talking to people and giving hugs? Well, you saw how much Tam Tam was teasing Liko, and Liko certainly didn't seem receptive to talking with me. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how to rebuild that bridge. I keep going over what to say in my mind, second-guessing myself. Everything sympathetic sounds paternalistic, while egalitarianism might smack of indifference. I really would appreciate you taking a crack at it. I mean, sure, let's go and have a chat. Liko, how you doing? Oh, hey Mila, what's going on? Did Darius think I needed someone to talk to? You got it. Well, you can go tell him that we had a good chat and I'm all better now. I don't want to keep you. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, that's, that's so harsh. I want to have a chat. You're not getting rid of me that easy. I want to know what's bugging you about Darius. Isn't it obvious? Darius wants to treat me like some kind of fragile princess. Just because I'm a girl. Oh, come on. In case you haven't noticed, Liko, the rest of the crew are women too. Morgana never had any problems with Darius like that, did she? And Darius certainly hasn't treated me or Tam Tam like we're too delicate to do hard work. Don't remind me. You got to be first mate, even though I had seniority. Even before this happened to me, you were bigger and stronger than I was. Maybe Tam Tam was right. She said I wasn't much of a man to begin with, right? I can't really argue with her there. Then focus on the future, not the past. The future isn't comforting either. What about what Duana said? About the goddess correcting me. You know, this. What's happened to me? It's not that bad. I mean, it it certainly could have been worse, right? But I feel like if I accept this, if I get comfortable in my own skin, if I let Darius and everyone else see me as a girl, I wasn't very good at being a man to begin with. Well, it's like I'm admitting Duana was right all along, aren't I? Um, who cares what she thinks? Um, your crew knows the truth. Embrace the new start. Being female is horrible. Okay. Who gives a shit what she thinks? It doesn't matter one bit what Joanna thinks, or Tam Tam, or Darius for that matter. I can't just go through life not caring about what the people around me think. Why not? You want to prove you're strong and capable? You want to prove that you're still you? The best way to start is not to let people bother you. If you're comfortable with yourself, then be comfortable. If you want to try to rig a sail, don't wait until Darius gives you permission. Just do it. Okay, so we try to give Liko a bit of a boost, but that is a, a big change. So it's going to be interesting because on the first run through, Liko just kind of got killed off screen. Whereas this time, Liko's got a bit more of a feature. So cool. That is this gameplay done. This is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.